This is one of the emerging technologies that will support the upcoming hydrogen economy. A great deal of material research is going on. However, the fact that some metals become brittle after exposure to hydrogen gas is a big problem. Let's observe this effect. The strength of this metal decreased by 20%. Hydrogen is a very small element. These atoms permeate metal, making it more brittle. It's called hydrogen embrittlement. It cannot be detected visually, unlike rust or metal oxidation. Thus, it's a dangerous phenomenon, especially for pipelines, which could be compromised invisibly. No effective means of controlling hydrogen embrittlement exists because it's difficult to know where and to what extent hydrogen has permeated a metal. As a first step in solving this problem, Dr. Akiko Itakura started a new project to visualize the behavior of hydrogen. She refined her scanning electron microscope by enlarging the applicable materials for the ESD method and developed a new technique for visualizing the diffusion of hydrogen in various materials. The first improvement, hydrogen gas permeating a metal can be observed while applying the gas to the metal. A sample of a metal of interest is placed in the special holder. Hydrogen gas is supplied at the back of the sample to be observed. The holder is mounted in the microscope. The mechanism is explained by the following animated sequence. Hydrogen gas from the supplier permeates the metal and makes it brittle under specific conditions. Some hydrogen atoms reach the other side of the metal sheet. When the electron beam from the microscope irradiates the surface, the hydrogen on the surface is ionized. By recording the amount and position of the hydrogen ions, we can map the distribution of hydrogen over the metal surface. Let's take a look at this stainless steel sample. Hydrogen gas is fed to the sample, permeating it. Hydrogen appears unevenly over the surface. When we compare it with the corresponding real image from the microscope, the striped pattern of the metal's microstructures closely matches the places where hydrogen was detected. In addition to this process on hardware, we succeeded in discovering a type of unique, previously unknown hydrogen behavior thanks to a further improvement. This was realized by a skillful colleague of Dr. Itakura, Dr. Naoya Miyauchi. He developed a software capable of counting individual hydrogen ions detected over a period of time. This has revealed that the hydrogen flux through a metal sample is not constant, but is in fact variable with time. Let's examine the stainless steel sample again. Two hours after hydrogen is introduced, it appears at points where the crystal brain boundaries are concentrated. This is what we expected. However, several hours later, hydrogen gas began to appear more at the location of the austenite crystal grains rather than at the grain boundaries. This finding raised eyebrows in our research community. We realized that we should observe hydrogen's diffusion over a long period of time. Otherwise, we will miss the mechanisms by which hydrogen embrittlement progresses. Dr. Itakura has been fielding many requests for measurements from key companies involved in making hydrogen storage and transportation equipment. Many researchers want to know about the vulnerability of various materials to hydrogen exposure. For example, we can visualize the effects in relation to increases in temperature in real time. This is the remarkable feature of our microscope. 